Welcome to Pre-Math. In this video, we have got these uh, two concentric uh, circles that share the very same uh, center O, as you can see in this uh, diagram, such that we got this uh, chord uh, AD, and this chord has been divided into three parts. This segment uh, AB is four units, and likewise, uh, this segment uh, CD is four units uh, as well. And moreover, this uh, chord segment uh, BC is uh, eight units. And now our task is uh, to calculate the area of this uh, green shaded region between these uh, two circles. And by the way, the green area in between these uh, two concentric uh, circles is also called uh, the annulus. The ring are the donuts. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe. And please keep in mind that this figure may not be 100% true to the scale. Let's go ahead and get started. And here's our very first step. Let me go ahead and label uh, the radius uh, of uh, these uh, circles. Let's focus uh, on this uh, radius uh, of this uh, big uh, circle. I'm going to label uh, the radius of this uh, big circle as uh, uppercase uh, R. And here's the radius uh, of this uh, smaller circle. Let me label uh, this uh, radius as uh, lowercase uh, R. And now let's make an observation. We can see that the area of this uh, green shared region is equal to this uh, big circle area minus the area of the smaller circle. And we know the radius of this uh, big circle is uppercase R and the radius of this uh, smaller circle is uh, lowercase uh, R. And now let's recall the area of a circle formula. Area equals to pi R square where R, this uppercase R, is the radius uh, of this uh, big circle. And likewise, the area of this uh, smaller circle is going to be pi r square as well, where uh, lowercase r is the radius of this uh, smaller circle. So therefore, the area of this uh, big circle is going to be pi r square, where this radius r is an uppercase r. And likewise, the area of this uh, smaller circle is going to be pi r square, where radius over here is lowercase r. As you can see in this uh, next step, the green shaded region area is going to be equal to pi r square minus uh, pi r square, where r is uh, lowercase. And here we can see pi and pi is in common in both terms. So therefore, we can factor out uh, pi outside and we got uh, uppercase R square minus uh, lowercase uh, R square. And now our task is to find the value of uh, uppercase R square minus uh, lowercase uh, R square. Let me label uh, this uh, as our equation uh, number one. And here's our next step. I have uh, dropped this perpendicular OE on this code AD. And now let's recall the perpendicular bisector theorem. According to this theorem, if a radius uh, of a circle is perpendicular to a chord, then the radius uh, bisects the chord. As you can see over here, this uh, radius uh, bisects this chord into two equal parts, uh, this uh, BE and this uh, EC. And since this whole chord BC is uh, eight units, so therefore, this segment uh, BE is going to be 4, and likewise EC is 4 units as well. And in this uh, next step, I have connected uh, this center O with this uh, point uh, C. And as a result, we are ended up with this uh, right triangle uh, OEC. And now let's focus once again on this uh, right triangle uh, OEC. Let me label uh, this uh, OE length uh, as our height uh, H and this OC is going to be the radius of this uh, smaller circle. So I'm going to label it uh, as uh, lowercase r and this uh, side uh, EC is uh, 4. 
And now we are going to apply the Pythagorean theorem on this uh, triangle. And here's our Pythagorean theorem, a square plus b square equal to c square. And in our case, uh, our this uh, lowercase r is the hypotenuse. Let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this uh, Pythagorean formula. So we got uh, h square plus uh, 4 square equal to lowercase r square. Let's go ahead and simplify. So I can write this one as uh, lowercase r square equal to h square plus 4 square is 16. Let me label uh, this as our equation uh, number 2. And here's our next step. I have connected this time uh, our this center O with this uh, point uh, D. And now let's focus on this uh, right triangle uh, OED. And now let's make an observation. This uh, OD is the radius uh, of this uh, larger circle. So therefore I'm going to label it uh, as uh, uppercase R. And moreover uh, this uh, ED length is going to be 4 plus 4 is going to make uh, 8 units. Now we are going to apply the Pythagorean theorem on this triangle. And here's our Pythagorean theorem once again, a square plus b square equal to c square. And this time our hypotenuse is uppercase uh, r. Let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this uh, Pythagorean formula. So this time this is going to be h square plus uh, 8 square equal to uppercase r square. Let's simplify this one so I can write uppercase r whole square equal to h square plus uh, 64. Let me label uh, this as our equation uh, number 3. And here we are ended up with these uh, two equations, equation 2 and equation 3. And now I am going to subtract this equation 2 from this equation uh, 3. So therefore I am going to change this sign, positive become negative, negative and negative once again. So therefore we can see that this uh, h square and this uh, negative h square is gone. So therefore we are ended up with the uppercase r square minus lowercase uh, r square is going to be equal to 64 minus 16 is going to give us uh, 48. So therefore we can see the difference uh, of two, these two radii turns out to be equal to 48. And here's our final step. Let's focus on this uh, equation one and we are going to finally calculate the area of this uh, green shaded uh, region. And here we can see that uh, this uppercase R square minus lower case R square value turns out to be 48. So therefore I'm going to substitute that value over here. So therefore our this uh, green shaded area is going to be equal to 48. Uh, times uh, pi square uh, units. So thus the area of this uh, green shaded region turns out to be 48 pi square units. And in terms of decimal, uh, this green area is going to be approximately equal to 150.8 uh, square units. And that's our final answer. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Bye.